Greetings, my fellow Belizeans. It is with great honor that I take this time to share with you a few things about the Constitution of Belize. Many folks have never read the Constitution of Belize or even looked at Chapter 4 of the Laws of Belize. But let me be brief and give you a simple introduction to our Constitution. To start with, I would like to read the first lines of our preamble our basis of our Constitution. It says, Whereas the people of Belize affirm that the nation of Belize shall be founded upon principles which acknowledge the supremacy of God. In Belize, the pr principles that acknowledge the supremacy of God are the basis of the foundation of our nation. By the way, it talks further down about the dignity of the human person and the equal and inalienable rights with which all members of the human family are endowed by their Creator. Therefore, our Creator, the Almighty God, the Supreme God, that created us all, created us all equal. Black, white, red, blue, pink, green, if you want a pink color, uh, whatever sect, uh, uh, or like people say, well, I'm of this sect, of that sect, or this religious group, or that religious group, or I am of this particular uh, creed of this particular um, uh, basis of, of my foundation, my parents are, are Maya or Mestizo or whatever you may be, we're all equal. Therefore, if we keep that in mind, no one in our country is less equal than the other if they're a human. If they're not humans, if they're animals, then they're in a different category. Thereby, we just want to remind everyone that our constitution protects everybody. Everybody is protected in the Constitution, as long as you're a human being. Next, I would like to remind you that the Constitution also says in paragraph C, whereas the people of Belize believe that the will of the people shall form the basis of government in a democratic society. Therefore, in our country, the people run the show. Not the ministers, but the people. The ministers are only managers. They're managing our money and managing our assets and managing and taking care of the proper way of governing if we, of course, keep them in check. But if we don't keep them in check, they will do what they want, like they have been doing for probably about 33 years. Therefore, it's time for us to recognize and take back our beliefs because the people of Belize believe that the will of the people shall form the basis of government. Next, paragraph D, whereas the people of Belize recognize and many institutions remain free only when freedom is founded upon respect for moral and spiritual values and upon the rule of law. Say it again? Yes. The people of Belize recognize that men and institutions remain free only when freedom is founded upon respect for moral and spiritual values and upon the rule of law. If there is no respect for morality, no respect for spirituality, no respect for the law, we're no longer free, we're now slaves, back to what many of us were, or our grandparents were, years ago. Therefore, my brethren, I need to remind you, you must stand firm, you must defend our constitution, and you must not allow anyone, no matter their money, no matter their position, to stand up and tell you to disobey your constitution. Well, neither should you allow them to disobey themselves. You should hold their feet to the fire because they're being paid to do a job. And if they don't do it right, you send them home. That's right. You send them home. Because this constitution says that if there's no respect for moral and spiritual values and the rule of law, we're slaves. Folks, with that in mind, there cannot be any space for a unibomb. There cannot be any space for immoral laws because the Constitution says in section 2 once you've read the preamble you go into section 2 and it says very clearly this Constitution is a supreme law of beliefs and if any other law is inconsistent with this Constitution that other law to the extent of the inconsistency be void that means if you make a new law and it violates our Constitution that new law is no good. Any new law made, the parts of that law that violate our constitution are trash. They're void. No new laws, folks. 
So therefore, when we're being sued by this Mr. Maurice Tomlinson, or Tomlinson, and the Caribbean Court of Justice said that this gay man is free to challenge Belize immigration law because our law again state in our immigration law section 51E that we do not give visas to people that claim to be gay or homosexuals. In other words, people that practice illegal acts, we don't give them visas to come in and basically perform their illegal acts. Thank you for your time, short but concise. In our country, we run the show. In our country, God is supreme. In our country, our Creator gave us all equal rights. In our country, there must be respect for moral and spiritual values or we're slaves. Stand firm, stand strong, do not back down. You are free if you maintain the morality and spiritual values of our land. Thank you and God.